There's been a lot of discussion over this next story. In fact, some don't think it's a story at all. We're talking about a convicted felon who's getting a lot of attention. This is Jeremy Meeks. He was arrested yesterday and famous on social media today because of his looks. The Stockton Police Department arrested several gang members in a roundup and posted their mug shots to Facebook. What they weren't expecting was Jeremy's mug to become famous. News 10's Nick Monticelli talked to Meeks in jail. And they found a pistol in my trunk. Stockton police arrested four yesterday in a gang roundup. It was great police work, but the only attention police are getting is on their Facebook page for Jeremy Meeks. I just visited my wife and she said that I like blew up all over Facebook. All over Facebook and all over the world. On Stockton's page, more than 24,000 likes and more than 6,000 comments. Vanessa Vieira writing, if this guy broke into my house, I'd make him forget why he broke in within 30 seconds. Laugh out loud. Lady Santiago, I'd got 50 shades on that man. Oh, God, yes. TMZ has jumped on the hot convict bandwagon as well as media outlets nationwide. But not everyone agrees. For instance, Lisa McAllister says criminals aren't sexy. Real men work and ladies don't fawn over criminal trash. Have some self-respect. The criminal himself didn't know why he was so popular until I told him. Well, I appreciate that, but I just want them to know that this is really not me. Like, I'm not some kingpin. And that is the only reason Meeks agreed to the interview, to tell people his side of the story, saying even though he's being charged with street terrorism, he is no longer a gangster. The Stockton Police Department has also noticed what's happening online and is reminding people Jeremy is a felon, allegedly caught with a gun, and he spent nine years in prison for grand theft. Well, it's a mugshot, so... And away from the computer and on the streets of Stockton, nobody is going crazy for baby blue eyes. Is he cute? No. <laughs> so that's a lot of people, not me. <laughs> <laughs> He's too thug for me. I asked Jeremy about that teardrop on the side of his face, and he simply said he's done some things in his past he is not proud of, and that kind of brings up the, the main point of this conversation. We would never want to glorify or put people like this in the news for reasons like this, but a lot of you are talking about it online, and for those of you who are doing it, we kind of wag the finger of shame at you. We never want to put these people on a pedestal. Dale, Christina? Absolutely not. I, I mean, you know, but I am kind of curious. I mean, you told him what was happening. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's hard to say recidivism is so high among um, ex-convicts, but I mean, I don't know, maybe it'll motivate him to do something other with his life. He promised me that he was setting his life back on track, that he's got a wife and a son now, and he's never going to go back into gang life again. So at this point, all we can do is cross our fingers and see what happens. You know, and you never know who's seeing the story. Maybe somebody out there, a photographer or company, will give him a shot at doing a little male modeling. There you go. He's got a career in front of him, right? Makes him legitimate. Yeah work. All right. Thank yeah, you. I got the blue much. eyes. I mean, if I had the puffy lips and the neck tattoo, <laughs> I could. Uh, no, right. no, no tattoos on you, Dale. Uh, yeah, as long <laughs> as it said News 10. <laughs> or maybe this, our phone number at Tell 10. We want to know what you think about this story or anything in our newscast. Tell 10 at 916-321-3210.